So, today, guys, now, I know we haven't actually caught anything yet, but I think that's all about to change. Today, we've come to an undisclosed secret location in Sydney, where I'm pretty sure we're going to get on some brim or some flathead. Now, the estuaries in Sydney are probably some of the most overpressured waters in Australia. But I think I found a nice secret spot. Now, I know we haven't had much luck these last couple of videos with catching anything. So today, I'm breaking out the big guns. So today, our secret weapons are going to be white bread burley. I got some three inch gulp shrimp and uh, I'm going to be trying to catch a bit of uh, live bait too. Now, and these birds are going crazy, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. Man, it is a beautiful day. It is stunning, it's a beautiful sunrise. And I can see a little bit of surface activity here out on the water as well. So I'm gonna quickly burly up and uh, get this bait trap in the water. Then I'll set up my, my surface gear. I'll probably put on a, like a walking bait and get in on this surface bite. All right, so I'm just gonna put the bait trap over here away from where I'm, holy cow, I just saw a fish jump. I'm gonna put the bait trap over here away from where I think where I think I'll be fishing. Holy Jesus. And uh, mainly just so I don't spook the, uh, spook the bait fish. So I found a little spot in here inside the mangroves. I'm just gonna drop it in the mangroves. Spot number one didn't work out for us. The uh, the mullet were jumping and it looks really fishy and good. Um, the bread burly brought in a lot of like little tiddler, tiddler things. Uh, we didn't end up get, catching any live bait. We caught like a yeah, tiny little micro fish, but nothing, nothing that you would want to put on a hook. So I've come around onto the other side of the creek and found just a nice, like looks like stormwater drain or something like that. So I'm going to try and fish out from here. There's a lot of boats moored nearby. Um, obviously mangroves on either side. I'm uh, gonna keep plugging with uh, the gulp. I've pretty much tried everything at the other side. I, I started out with a uh, some with the surface lures and then I moved on to uh, jerk baits and yeah I couldn't didn't get a touch didn't get anything. I uh, started putting on S factor nothing. Uh, switched over to the gulp, three inch shrimp and nothing as well. As I was crossing the bridge to come over to this spot, I could actually see a lot of like little small brim hanging out near the bridge, but they were very skittish. So I've come to the other side, I've just thrown some bread in the water again. Uh, I put the live bait net in the water again, but I don't think I'm going to have much luck. I saw some bigger bait fish here, but not really that encouraging. So I might throw the gulp around for a bit more and then probably switch it up. Right. That's it for spot number two. I think there's a lot of mullet here, but I don't see many predators. Uh, but I might have to call it a day. I've been 
I've been out here grinding for a few hours now and I don't really see it happening. Did a chugger, a walking bait, jerk bait, metal, little fat body, the old golf shrimp. Couldn't get on it today. All in all, it was a nice spot. I've I'd never been to that spot before, so I didn't know how to fish or what to expect. So it was a nice little exploration. So I'm going to break down my approach today. and Maybe we can work out what went right, what went wrong. Got up nice and early, and I ended up getting to the creek just after sunrise. And it was probably just after high tide. You could see the movement of the water heading out of the canal and back to the mouth of the river. I thought that that bridge would be a good spot uh, for this, that sort of change of tide, just on that other side of high tide, because that's where a, a concrete canal meets the mangroves. So it's you're looking at kind of like a, a discharge point where fast flowing water is going to be hitting that mangrove system and those that rocky little outcrop thing they've they've made there and and uh, the water's going to be slowing down, so creating some turbulence or eddy currents. As we saw, it did attract a lot of fish, you know, it attracted a lot of those mullet and a lot of those little tiny tiddlers. The theory was good, but I think our application of baits and lures just wasn't what was working for us there. Perhaps a, more, a smaller presentation, a more finesse presentation is what was needed. As for today, I hope you enjoyed the scenery, hope you enjoyed coming along with me while we sort of did some fishing. Uh, we did a lot of fishing, we didn't do a lot of catching. If you think you've got some good tips for me about where I went wrong or better ways that I could have fished it, please comment below and uh, I'd be keen to hear your thoughts. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. If you want to see more fishing, like and subscribe. Uh, for the next video I've got planned, I'm going to be doing another AliExpress review. I've got still a ton of lures to get through and I've kind of got to keep putting out these reviews and plugging through them just to get, make sure I get through them all. So, stay tuned.